my people how on a day i salute and according to that time or oh, how when are they do today my people not be smart you know welcome to this obongalistic day with another obonga information this is niger celebrity gist if you here with touch light better better gist my people now welcome oh, and a welcome oh. my people things don't they change you oh. hmm. Right, right now, a Duce family don't they understand some things where I know say they know before, but they, they do like say they know no. They, they do like say they know understand what in the happen. No, hmm. my people, when I don't hear say the Edoches don't they reach out to Pimel trying to see whether there is a way everything will end normal. The court case, where don't they near? <laughs> the fear of the court case right now, the, court, the fear of the court date. Is becoming the wisdom of everybody. The information where they reach us now be say Salio Edoche on behalf of the children or the Pekin, then where Sapet Edoche get, especially the men. They don't they call Kwimme, they reach out to Kwimme for some discussions and from some reconciliations and some meetings. No be reconciliation with you, Leduce per se, but reconciliation with most of the properties that are going out of Leduce's house. Now that things are going like this, they want to know how the properties will be, the position of the properties, the situation of things. If we may actually eventually leaves the family, how will all the things be kept? Some of these properties, some of these things are established things that are not handing over the ownership is not just smoothly or easily these are things that need some legal things you know so that's why you know the edoches has met the men they met with their daddy and they tried to discuss the outcome their life without me in this family because it was necessary that they had to meet for that meeting in order to know the deed has already been done the mistake has already been made they don't already strike and they have made their mistake. What they think will happen is no longer what is happening right now. Because our royal premier hmm, is not listening to anyone, is not interested in what anybody is saying. Our royal premier is just focused on her business right now. She's only focused on what is happening on shop premier brand, how it how all the containers will finish in one day in a, a Houston, Texas where everybody is now gathered for Premier product and the priceless hair uh, straight fair. So Premier is focused on her business right now and is not interested in what anybody is saying. But the Duchess are not sleeping. They are not sleeping because the source of their world is linked to Premier. They are not sleeping because any day Premier wakes up and gets the divorce papers, the entire Iduche family is at risk. Because a lot of them are with premier property. A lot of them are with premier something. So that prompted a meeting that they had with their father. And in that meeting, the center of the discussion is what is what is the way forward. In the meeting, their father told them that all of them should be prepared for a life without me. And what does it mean? That this uh, alleguist will come and collect everything. They have already said it. It is not a threat. They are telling us the truth. They have already said what they can do, that they will come and collect everything. They will come and collect everything. And if these people are really serious to collect everything, how are we going to do it? Their papa, they tell them. So those who are working on any issue, any company or any uh, establishment or investment that is linked to Aligris has started, you know, that they should start preparing for their life without me and their life without Aligris. Is it the property? How is it going to be done? The business? How is it going to be done? Are they going to hand over the business back to them and stay without business? Or are they going to, you know, what is it their plans? Because Sapete Loche wanted to know what they are planning and wanted to know what will happen in everything. So <laughs> they were they started talking one after the other. Leo Edoche told, told the father that. This is a very serious issue because when you hand over an investment from one hand to the other, it also the business also affect is affected, and the business may crumble. So if they if they would like to sell the business to the people that are handling it now, I think that would be the best thing to do. But the the, the other question is the people that are handling the business now are they ready 
to buy. What I mean by ready to buy is, are they, are they financially buoyant to buy it? Uh, do they have enough to buy? Do they have enough savings in the account of the business where everything is settled, their own share of the money can buy the business off from the owners? That is another, that's one big question that everybody will ask himself or herself. And secondly, the business actually, how is the yield? Is it yielding what somebody can just buy and start making? Where somebody can just go and take loan and buy and pay back the loan easily without having been tensed up or being pressurized by the company to pay the money back? These are some of the things that they are considering and looking at and saying it is a very serious issue right now. A very serious issue in the sense that they don't know how to handle it. Because I told them that nobody should start blaming anybody. Nobody should start talking about why now, why me, why this. It has happened, it has happened. We have talked about it many, many times. Nobody talks about it now. Then they now called on links. You know, say links that in the manage the entire property of the duchess. I asked links how far, how many of their properties are still yielding income and everything. Links told them that. Uh, their property is still there. What he's doing is the lawyer and the accountant that is in charge of everything. What he's doing is supervisory rule, try to make sure that the properties are okay, the properties are intact and everything. And that they know that even him is not managing any of the Aligues family property. He's only in, in charge of the Duchess property. So he should that they should also find a way of uh, preparing their life after. You don't force somebody to, to sell his business to you. You don't force somebody to give you the product unless the person brings an option. But what happened is that, that he knows that the Ligues are not very are not very bad people. But their anger is that you, Ledoche, didn't treat their sister very well. That is what all of us should take the blame for. That we, the Doche, did not treat men well. Even us, when we are reacting to the issue of you, the Dutcher and Judy Austin, many of us we are so biased about it, not sincere about it, not straightforward about it. And all those things are what is counting against us right now. Because if we had started at first to do the bright thing we're supposed to do, all these issues coming up wouldn't have come up. But the issues are there now, haunting us and pinching us because we failed to do the right thing at the first instant. And that is it. But that if there is a way we can talk to Blessing, talk to Premier Brother and talk to me, it's something that we can get. It's something that is possible. It's something that you can resolve. There's nothing in it. How many of the properties are we talking about? Hey, they are, the properties are something that are glaring and over. So the investment are not much. Some of the properties have been taken by them. Some of the remaining ones are the ones in the form of investment. So those who are in charge of this investment should talk to the owners. Talk to Blessing 07, talk to Kweme Brother, then talk to me. It will be very easy. I know that May is not happy actually, but not that her, her unhappiness will change her. She's still a good person and remains a good person she is. And that's one thing I like about her. According to Waiting Leaks, they tell them, says, Waiting making like we may be say, no situation can change her to act other than what she is. She's a good woman and she always represents and remains a good woman. So at the end of the day, their father said, well, what happened is that those who are in charge of these business, businesses should reach out to May family and break me and the brothers and make sure I mean, the sister and make sure say they resolve it amicably. This is because remember they say we shouldn't be coming to their family again, they say we shouldn't be doing some such. So let us not start talking too much or, or pinching them too much or tapping them too much. They will still come to the extent of nobody should listen to us. Leona said, Well, she has not had any difficult issues with me. That is, she he is going to call me. And discuss with me over all these things, especially the company, especially has to do with the one that he's handling. He said, Okay, so my people now, so oh, God, Leo, Salio, Edochi, of course, me, you know, appreciating me of who she is and how she has been doing well, ask me of the picking them and everything. I <laughs> may became very surprised. As I say, brother, <laughs> this is why they ask me this kind of question now. They don't tell this is why I hear this kind of question from you. Because the other course where you've been the call before, now when you call, you holler. When you call, you give direction. When you call, you give instruction. When you call, you give information. Now, just like that, your call has been. Just call and give instruction. Call and give direction. Like, say, now you they carry the person, come where you then Now you they give the person food. But this one where you call, that begin pleasantry, begin uh, you no know, exchange of pleasantry. Hey, that's good. Though. That means this week will be very nice week. <laughs> Leo said no. It's not as if that the week is already nice and everything is nice, but what he wants to find out is how she and the picking them are feeling. He said they are fine. And I royal came and I tell and say, because now I was up calling the call, I tell her say in the busy now because in the arranging things for hosting. Say in the around in the you don't reach there, you just want to arrange things. 
so that he can be able to set up her stand. It's just in a few days' time now, just three days remaining. Uh, there is the trade fair, so she is setting up her stand. Uh, Leo now said, Yeah, well, it's uh, I, I wouldn't say you should wait, I, I would not say you should also call, but it's just a very brief thing. I want to call you. I, I just I want, I want to inform you that uh, mm, just give me a time when we'll talk. Give me a time when we talk so that we'll talk about these issues, we'll talk about the family. The premier said, I am not talking about any issue with anybody. I have moved on and you can see it. I am no longer part of the Duchess, but I know say I still have on a picking with me. I cannot doubt that and I cannot deny you of your picking. The picking has a right and a choice to choose where they want to be. That's their business. But as long as as far as I'm concerned, as a person, I am no longer part of the Duchess and I'm not I'm not, you know, to doing anything with the Duchess again. Uh, Leo said it's not like that. It's not this that's not what we're talking about. What I mean is that uh, you know there are issues, there are still things that link us together, businesses and everything we've not settled. Kremer said that, that one is not an issue. That blessing is coming back. When blessing comes back, everything will be settled immediately. Leo now told Kremer, that's exactly why I'm calling you. Uh, maybe you help us talk to blessing, but I will also talk to blessing. These businesses, we should have a way to reconcile it. You know, when you move the ownership or the handling of the business from one person to the other, sometimes it affects the business, especially those of them that are not too strong. So we have to do it very in a very uh, a precor a precaution precarious way, in a very in a very courteous way. You understand? We should be courteous in doing it so that we will not land into trouble. This business, in as much as we are having issues, is also good because it's helping both of us. We are here like a symbiotic relationship where we handle the business and produce money with it and you also enjoy from the money. So it is not it will not be good that we hand it over to you and they crumbled. If they don't know what happened happened between you and you the doche and the business has been there. We know that it's you the doche that linked everybody together with you. But now that you have already cut off your link with you the doche and us, we also like the business to still remain. What we promised is that we would definitely be giving you what is supposed to be yours. Please, my, my, my appeal is that whenever you have time, think about it and give us your reply. The businesses that are for Aligwes that in the hand of Iduchis will beg you and your sister and brother that you guys should allow the businesses to still remain in the hand of Iduchis. We will do our possible best to make sure say, we get the best out of the business and that the business doesn't crumble. We will do that, I promise you. We will do our possible best to make sure that the business become the best. We will work hard to build up the business and let it be the best. But I will ask, because I'm not saying that uh, if you if the business if your business is taken out of us, not only us that will lose, because I don't say we will lose, but we will not lose alone. You will also lose because you don't know who the person you are giving it to have to grow up in the business again and try to prepare in a customer data try to get some people that will work with you, you know, and everything. So there are different different things that will come up if you allow this business now to change hands. But right now, if the business is uh, left as it is, if the business is left exactly the way it is, it will still be running smoothly with un uninterrupted and the money and everything will still be shared. If Even if you want us to uh, make an increase or just update, upgrade on the remuneration we pay, to you guys on the business is something that we can sit down and discuss but we will not like a situation where this business actually will be truncated where the business will stop and nothing will be going on that's just what i want to discuss with you so whenever you have your time at your own time just come around or call me so that we discuss it at length premier said well there's no business there's no problem personally that she doesn't discuss business much that the only person that discuss business who is in charge of managing the business in the league-based family is Blessing 07. Say she it does her own business. Her brother is in, in the army, really busy, not looking at the business. So it's Blessing that is a nurse that looks through the business documents. Whenever she finishes, she goes to the website or the email of the company and try to find out what and what that has happened and try to, you know, read it or send it to an auditor that would they look at it and give her information of wow the thing is happening but definitely that she herself is not has no time for that kind of business leo said okay but that she should assist them talk to his her brother her sister rather 
will be blessing 07. Since the blessing 07 is the one in charge of the business, so that blessing 07 can be able to look into it. But that what he's trying to say is that the entire Edochis are saying this thing he's saying because they are in a meeting right now. <laughs> Premier was just laughing and saying, People should do your meeting and go ahead and be doing your meeting and have no business with your meeting because I don't think I have anything to do with the Edochis again. It's a long story, it's a long time thing that a long time decision that we have already passed. So nobody talks about that now. You say past and it's a past, it remain a past and let it continue to remain a past. So let's not talk about it. Uh, Leo said, okay, and I appreciate. Okay, he could call the call. You know what thing that surprised me for this is because this is the first ever time Leo Edoche had called on Aruya Kwime and talked to her like a human being. Or like someone that uh, he knows. Leo used to talk to our royal premier like a, a gear. I, I wanted to say a boy. Like a, a house gear. You know. He would just to give instruction. You know. As if he's a man. is just a. I don't know how to put it. Man is just a. a this thing to a duchess. Who is man now? So you know. Man is nobody. You know. She just talked to me anyhow. Who is a. Uh, that kind of small girl now. Just talk to her like that small girl we know. You know that kind of a thing. But now the thing don't hit everybody. <laughs> my 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 wonderful and evangelistic people that see them. It don't hit the thing don't hit everybody to batter on head right now. Because you see as if you, you need to see, according to what they let us know, you need to see the voice of uh, of Leo. The, the man is speaking like a man right now, with all respect. And with all, with all seriousness and respect unto Pime. And that is how it's supposed to be. Just because of property. That's why everybody's messing up. Can you, do you people remember what happened at first? It was only Lynx Edochi in that family that have stood his ground from the beginning till now, saying one thing about you, Edochi, and Judy Austin marriage, standing against it, saying one voice. He has not changed his voice. From the beginning till now, from the time this thing start, this basketball started till now, Lynx has not changed. Lynx has been saying one thing, that this is what he's saying. And everything Lynx said had come to pass. Another person that had been so indifferent, he's not against Queen May, and he's not supporting you, Ledoche, but only giving you, Ledoche, the options and the circumstances that this can lead to. The options that, yeah, that uh, polygamy can take it to the only person that you know he has been saying this is not good you are too young to do, to do this thing and you are not very prepared for it so why are you talking about polygamy at this at this age it is not it doesn't represent our family and it doesn't represent you well so that this thing you are doing you will not enjoy it you will regret it because it is something that is so costly and something that looks so crude so so crude that you don't even you won't even enjoy it. It is something that old men do at their retirement age. When they have worked and retired and have money, they will now look for how many people that will take care of them. They will be looking for women. They will carry this one, not even because of Kerewa, but because of different kinds of uh, pampering they would like to need. So that one person will not be making guy for them. They will just take him two or three to, you know, to be competing within themselves who will take care of him and everything. That's just who they will. But it does have been genes... Uh, 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 this thing that have been Jane's uh, advice to you, Leduce. He has never stood up to say, "May you are wrong" or "May you are right." You know, but it's only links that have stood and said, "May you, Leduce, you are very wrong." In fact, these things you are doing is wrong. Don't do it. And he has suffered a lot. In fact, the family had dealt with him. There are so many things that Lynx Edoche had passed through in the hand of the brothers and sisters, sister, and even in the hand of the parents that we cannot even mention here. But those ones are not for another day. So, but when you look at Uche, even though Uche later in the day, later in the time, when everything has changed, and started changing his voice, Uche and Leo have stood tall supporting their brother you. They have stood tall and tell me that it's a man that manages a home. And it's a, it's, a, it's a man's home. So that does what he wants. If the man says he wants polygamy and can function, he can fit the, he can fit it for the bill of polygamy. That the woman has no mouth to say the man should not go into polygamy or that the man should go into polygamy. That it is what the man wants that the man will do. That the man has no right to start 
questioning Yule Doche, why Yule Doche is going into polygamy. So that has been Leo and the, the, the Uche's case. And you know Leo went as far as supporting that by going to the traditional marriage or whatever they say they do. Because I heard that the bride price of Judy Austin has not paid. If the bride price is not paid, I don't know what happened that day that Leo went. And so, uh, saying he, was, he went to so, uh, so, uh, represent the family. So, you see, Leo has been, you know, conspicuous about supporting you the duty. he has been so conspicuous about it he has been standing tall you know behind his brother you and you know that's why you the church celebrates him every time and detests every other person like links that have been against what he's doing so my people now so that's how the thing has been and you know how sapete duce did his own as sapete duce also had not been strongly out when he talk about anti infested fagot, he will go behind and say, Judy Austin should give her woman power to return. She has come in and the other person wants to go. So, you know, you know there were some, some of this uh, indifference, some of this hanky-panky behavior we have noticed in this Edoche family in the past. But right now, right now, the truth is coming out. They have seen the reality of time. They have seen that the hands has, everything has changed. They have seen that they have made a mistake. They have seen that it is no longer what they think that is happening. They have seen that everything has come in against them. So everybody now want a soft landing. Those who are working in the businesses that belong to Aliwes are struggling to return their business and return their property. Everybody everybody who is working in there is, does not want to lose their job. Everything, everybody is now being so careful in the way they do and that's why they want to reach our royal women in order to see how everything can remain as it is, why she goes. Is it possible? It's not possible now. How can everything remain as it is and Quimet goes? It's not possible. So that is exactly how it is. And Kweme had told them, let them reach out to Blessing Osef. And you know Blessing Osef is, a, is that one is another person. It's another pro problem to them. Kweme can keep quiet, but that one, no, they keep quiet. That one will tell you what you want to do and come ahead and, and go ahead and do it. And that's why they are afraid right now. My people, now, so they just reach our table. I see don't fold. We're going to bring them to now. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please try to subscribe. All our returning subscribers, please, on a welcome all. If you have not, if you are, this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure that your notification bell are open so that anytime we will touch light and just and bring it here, you'll be among the first people to receive it. My people, make gonna have a nice day. Bye.